Hello everybody, my name is Bruno. I want to introduce the Agora controller software today. And uh, so just to, to give you an overview of, of uh, this uh, software uh, that allow to control the fast ghost and h1 series uh, from agora here we are on the website so agora-network.fr product software so you can download this software um, for windows mac and linux if i'm going to uh, the windows you are uh, in the download center so you can see here the user manual of agora controller and the current version the latest version of um, so the 1350 uh, if you are still using ghost manager uh, please go to uh, switch to agora controller by using the agora firmware updater 138 you can download from our website and uh, yes, pass from the Ghost Manager uh, to Agora Controller. I invite you to discover the user manual uh, of Agora Controller if you want to go deeper and uh, in some yes features or, or something like that. Everything everything is explained here and uh, with pictures, so it's very clear. But uh, here. Start with uh, the software. So when you start the Agora controller, you see here the version, and you um, so before starting anything, you have to plug your computer to a control port of Fast Ghost or H device uh, through the the network port of your computer or um, an adapter, a USB to uh, Ethernet. So at first I have to select the adapter I'm using to reach the units. So here, uh, this is a dealing black for me. Uh, you can see on the left side, the U red and appeared the D green that the software discover the units connected to your computer. So two discovered devices and only one online. If I take a look to the IP address, I can see this one with orange characters. So that means this unit is not on the right range of IP address. So what I can do is clicking to the IP address and change it. The other things you can do with, uh, with uh, this uh, only little D is identify. So by uh, clicking on this button, uh, the front panel of the device is blinking so i can change uh, the ip address by this one and appear uh, the, the the devices so in it and pass online the second things you can have when you receive uh, the, the the units for the first time is having the same ip address uh, in, in two devices so I can um, for example select this one and change IP address to the same yes so when you have this situation you discover the, the, the two units and you have in red color the same IP address so the same you can change it to another one in, in the, the, the right range and you discover again uh, the, the unit. So after a, a while, uh, so the device I discovered and after synchronization, uh, the, the two device will be online. So here we can see this unit is discovered, you are online, this is a root bridge so uh, some indication on the software when when the the, the mouse is uh, is uh, on, on on this way um, the name of the unit and the ip address if you click uh, here you have a collapse view uh, you can adjust the led dimmer on the front panel switch on the qs um, change the host name of the switch the serial number the current version uh, the, the bridge priority, 
the IP address, subnet mask, and some details about CPU. On the right side, you have commons. Write means you write the configuration in the internal memory of the unit. Identify means uh, blinking the front panel of the physical unit. You can clear the statistics. Refresh, uh, so refresh means you take the information from the physical unit and to input in the software. Factory reset and firmware update is about updating your unit and reboot, you restart uh, the, the, the unit. So you have a global common here, so you can write all if you, if you need. Then um, we take a look to the different ports you can find on the Agora units as user ports. User ports means you can connect an endpoint as a console, stage box, nodes, um, video over IP uh, endpoints. So this one is like this. If I click on the user port, you can see U1. You can change the label with the reference of the unit. Uh, you see the groups patch on, on this uh, port. Uh, if the IGMP filtering uh, is on, on the group, you can adjust the mode of IGMP for each port. You can disable the port if you need. Uh, you can see the line uh, down or up, the speed of port, you can adjust the speed. And you have statistics um, on, the, on the right uh, about real-time statistics, Rx and Tx, uh, about the diffusion uh, of, of the packets, um, unicast, multicast and broadcast. And uh, at last you have the drops. If you lose some packets, please check your cables or um, uh, do something to have no drops. Um, so this is the user ports. Uh, you can find also the transmit ports as a trunks. So here, this is a T tree. This is trunk ports. This port is connected to this one of the ghost MK2. So you can uh, see uh, by default you have these groups and the 256 is the control uh, on, on this uh, on this transmit port. Uh, you can manage your RSTP priority and you can see in real time uh, the packets. You have a bar graph here uh, when you can see appear around after 60% of usage and uh, in red uh, after 80% of, of the bandwidth. So you can see here some unicast and multicast packets. And fortunately, I have no drops. And as a flexible uh, solution, Agora offer the, the possibility to change the statue of the port. If I select this one, for example, I can choose user, transmit or control. So this is a uh, very flexible uh, if you want to change uh, the statue of, of some ports. Uh, so the last things I have to tell you is you can have uh, um, a back blank panel if you want. Uh, if you are working uh, outdoor, it's uh, useful uh, to having this, uh, this kind of, of things. So uh, thank you for watching. Don't hesitate to uh, go to agora-network.fr to uh, download the software. And um, yes, have the, 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 the manual, user manual. You can also see some training courses uh, dates uh, if you are going to education. Thank you. Bye.